become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here and today we are going to be talking about freeform amino acids and why vince geronda was such a huge fan of them and finally what science has to say about freeform amino acids as a supplement aminos every bodybuilder that has ever visited a local supplement store has heard the name and is familiar with the term aminos. Most bodybuilders have heard of terms such as BCAAs and EAAs, but I would bet you a million dollars that most don't know how to use them correctly. This requires thorough research and understanding. Vince Geronda, of course, being a pioneer in nutritional research, understood the potency of amino acids. Amino acids are molecules and, like drugs, have a specific effect in the human body, more so under certain physiological conditions or certain combinations of amino acids, they can be very potent. Their effect can also be different between person to person depending on the person's genetics, age and other important factors. The biochemistry of amino acids is a very complicated subject and only recently has science begun to unravel the secrets of these potent anabolic molecules. Now before delving deeper into the subject, I just want to give you a basic overview of what amino acids are. There are 21 amino acids common to all life forms. The 20 genetically coded amino acids include alanine, arginine, asparagine, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamic acid, glutamine, glycine, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, proline, serine, threonine, tryptophan, tyrosine, and valine. Selenocysteine, the 21st amino acid, is considered a special case, but nevertheless is important for protein synthesis. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein, and proteins are simply large chains of amino acids called peptides. An amino acid binding to another amino acid forms what is called a peptide bond, and a peptide chain. The chain is basically composed of amino acids linked together. Once these peptides are long enough, they begin to fold due to what is called intermolecular forces and form a protein molecule. Proteins, of course, have different functions throughout the body, including enzymes, hormones, etc. Now, I don't want to bore you with a biochemistry lecture on proteins and amino acids, but what is important for you to understand is how proteins are formed. And now you understand that proteins are formed from the peptide chain formation of amino acids. Understanding this, you probably can now make the connection as to why proteins and amino acids are necessary for muscle building. Muscle fibers are made of proteins called myosin and actin. If your body cannot create the amino acids or does not have an adequate supply of amino acids through your own diet, it can't create the necessary peptides and proteins needed to create muscle fibers. This process is essential for muscle hypertrophy. Now let's have a look at essential amino acids. Essential amino acids are those that cannot be synthesized or produced in your own body, and therefore these must be supplied in adequate amounts through your diet. These include phenylalanine, valine, threonine, tryptophan, methionine, leucine, isoleucine, lysine, and histidine. So the question is, why did Vince Geronda rave on about free-form amino acids? Well, free-form amino acids are amino acids that are not bound together as peptides or chains. Hence, they are free. They are free molecules. When we eat a steak, for example, in order for your body to absorb the amino acids from the steak you just ate, it is necessary for the steak to be digested by your body. And this can actually take a long time, up to two days to actually digest protein. For adequate protein digestion to occur, certain enzymes in your body need to do their work in breaking down the steak into smaller and smaller pieces until peptide chains are left, which then break down into free form amino acids. These amino acids then circulate through your body and are used up by the cells throughout your entire body. This whole process takes hours and up to two days for protein to be completely digested. When free-form amino acids came out, Vince Gironda, amongst others, celebrated this giant breakthrough. Why? 
Well, because for the first time, amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein and muscle, could be ingested and immediately available to your muscle, without the need for digestion. Sound theory. As Vince put it in The Wild Physique, amino acids have provided a giant breakthrough for bodybuilding. They get to the muscle quickly and efficiently, even if you have digestive problems. They provide quick and easy building materials for the body without bloating or fattening the body. They also aid in keeping blood sugar levels up during stressful times of dieting to lose fat. Taking amino acids every three hours keeps the body constantly supplied with protein and the nitrogen levels stable. As you can see, Vince was very enthusiastic about freeform amino acids way back then. He claimed that free-form amino acids can get to the muscle tissue quickly for hypertrophy to occur because they keep blood nitrogen levels stable and they can also help stabilize sugar levels during ketogenic diets. These are again some very bold statements for the time, but let's explore what science has to say about the anabolic effect of amino acids. Now let's look at the question whether free-form amino acids are truly anabolic. Well, some studies do suggest that either oral administration or intravenous administration of free-form amino acids can stimulate muscle synthesis in both young and elderly people, as once theorized by Vince Gironda. Having said all this, science still needs to catch up and more scientific research needs to be performed to study the effect of free-form amino acid supplementation on trained athletes. Science, however, has come out with some exciting research on individual amino acids and their effect on protein synthesis in the muscle. A few years back, branched-chain amino acids were all the craze, and they were reported to be necessary for muscle hypertrophy. Branched-chain amino acids include leucine, isoleucine, and valine. The reports of branched chain amino acids being anabolic was proven to be correct in the case of leucine, because recently science has proven that leucine itself is responsible for the activation of mTOR cascade that is critical for increasing skeletal muscle protein synthesis, and this was discovered by Katsanos and colleagues in 2006. This groundbreaking study proved once and for all why many bodybuilders, including Vince, noticed the anabolic effect of certain amino acids such as branched chain amino acids. This study also showed why protein fractions such as whey, which is a high level of branched chain amino acids, is also effective at protein synthesis, as was reviewed by Holmey and colleagues in 2010. Furthermore, free-form leucine may have a further anabolic effect in older adults, as shown by Katsanos and colleagues, implying that at least certain free-form amino acids have a further anabolic effect. Many scientific studies have since shown that individual amino acids can have specific effects on athletes, and again, to go through all these studies would take a really long time. Now let's explore more deeply at the anabolic effect of branched chain amino acids and how they should be supplemented. For a while, the scientific community was split as to whether branched chain amino acids had an anabolic effect or not. When you look at all the research that has been performed over the years, you realize that the research can be conflicting because some of the research studies suggest that branched chain amino acids have an anabolic effect, while other studies do not show this effect. What is important to understand is that for branched chain amino acids to have an anabolic effect is that they need to be taken as a supplement that enriches the protein you are already consuming in your diet or as a supplement. Several recent reviews do not support the use of branched chain amino acids alone. Instead, the research tends to support the fact that branched chain amino acids tend to increase muscle hypertrophy when supplemented with a high protein diet. This is very, very important for you to understand. What is important to understand further is that after exercise, the body is sensitized to shuttling amino acids into our cells. Therefore, it is important to take advantage of this time, of this window of opportunity by supplying the muscles with muscle building amino acids, especially essential amino acids and branched chain amino acids, which can stimulate the synthesis of protein in muscle through the mTOR cascade. As a final note, the International Olympic Committee and the International Society of Sports Nutrition both recommend that after resistance training, 
one should consume 1.6 grams to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body mass throughout the day, and that the meal should be enriched with essential amino acids and 700 to 3,000 milligrams or 3 grams of the branched chain amino acid leucine. And this was reviewed by Santos and Nascimento in 2019. What does this all mean for the bodybuilder? Well, if you're following a balanced diet, supplementing with both protein and either leucine or branched chain amino acids or a high quality free form amino acid supplement may be advantageous to gaining muscle hypertrophy. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince's bodybuilding nutrition principles, please visit my website www.goldenerabookworm.com where you will find a great variety of books on Vince's nutritional principles, including Vince's diets, the wild physique, as well as the blueprint for the bodybuilder, all available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video on the bodybuilder's essential guide to amino acids. And I hope that by explaining some of the modern research findings today, that you now know how to adequately supplement with amino acid supplements to further enhance your bodybuilding potential. If you have enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm and leave me your comments as well in the comment section. To support the channel, please donate via PayPal, become a patron and visit my respective websites for merchandise and ebooks, magazines, as well as photos. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.